welcome to signal and system lecture series here in this session i'll be going to explain relation between trigonometric fourier series and exponential fourier series and in previous two session i have already explained how to represent trigonometric fourier series and exponential fourier series in this session i'll be deriving relationship in between coefficients which is there in trigonometric fourier series and exponential fourier series so let me write first what is trigonometric fourier series so we have already seen trigonometric fourier series and that is x of t is equals to a0 plus summation <coughs> n varies from 1 to infinity an cos of n omega 0 t plus bn into sin of n omega 0 t and we have already seen exponential Fourier series so exponential Fourier series so we have seen that that is x of t is equals to summation n varies from minus infinity to infinity i am writing fn the reason is we want to derive relation in between fn with an and bn so if you write an then notation will get same so to differentiate notation i am writing fn here so fn into e to the power jn omega 0 t now let us try to derive that relation of fn with an and bn so to have that relation i will expand this exponential fourier series first so let us expand this so see f0 into e to the power 0 that will be 1 so f0 separately i am writing it plus now f1 for positive 1 to infinity i am writing it like f1 into e to the power j omega 0 t plus f2 into e to the power j 2 omega 0 t plus f3 into e to the power j 3 omega 0 t up to infinity it will go and for negative infinity range it will start from n is equals to minus 1 into e to the power now n is equals to minus 1 will, will result into e to the power minus j omega 0 t plus f minus 2 into minus j 2 omega 0 t plus minus f 3 into minus j 3 omega 0 t up to that it goes up to infinity now see here e to the power j omega 0 t that we will expand further in terms of sin and cosine and then we can compare that equation with trigonometric Fourier series so if you expand e to the power j omega 0 t then for e to the power j omega 0 t we can say it is cos of omega 0 t plus j sin of omega 0 t and if you want to expand e to the power minus j omega 0 t then that is cos of omega 0 t minus j sin of omega 0 t so these this is how we can expand that further so this equation will change so x of t now that will become f0 plus f1 into cos of omega 0 t plus j sin of omega 0 t plus f2 into cos of omega 0 2 omega 0 t plus j sin of 2 omega 0 t like that it goes up to positive infinity and for negative range it will be now f1 now see e to the power minus j omega 0 t that is cos of omega 0 t minus j sin of omega 0 t so if you place that here then that will happen like this
and it goes up to negative infinity now see what i'll be doing is i'll combine this cosine term and sine term and then we will compare it with this so we will take cos term separately and sine term separately and then we can compare these two equation right so if i do that then i can have at zero plus if i say cos omega zero t that i am taking common then for cos omega zero t this will be f1 plus f minus 1 into cos omega zero t that will be there with you plus f2 plus f minus 2 into cos 2 omega 0 t likewise it will go up to infinity and for sine term for sine term we will be finding f1 see j into j into f1 minus f1 that will happen right so j into f1 minus f minus 1 into sin omega 0 t plus j into f2 minus f minus 2 into sin 2 omega 0 t likewise it will go up to infinity now we can write this in terms of algebraic sum and then we can compare that with this trigonometric function so let us write this in terms of addition term so f0 plus summation that varies from n is equals to 1 to infinity fn plus f minus n c now instead of uh, this 1 to i will be writing n where summation n varies from 1 to infinity cos of n omega 0 t plus j into fn minus f minus n into sin n omega 0 t so this is how we can expand that and as i have told you like see trigonometric fourier series component that is a and b n and that is what multiplied like this so we can compare a n that is equals to f n plus f minus n and this b n that is j into f n minus f minus n so if i say this is equation 1 and if i say this is equation 2 so if you compare equation 1 and 2 then you will be finding this is what a n so a n is equals to f n plus f minus n and b n that is equals to j f n minus j f minus n now see this is how we can write trigonometric Fourier series component in terms of exponential Fourier series component and if you want exponential Fourier series component in terms of trigonometry then we need to solve this equation so that you can have fn and f minus n in terms of an and bn so if you want that then all we need to do is see if i multiply j with this equation and if i add both like see j into an is equals to j into fn plus j into f minus n and this is what bn is equals to j fn minus j f minus n and if we add this then this will get cancelled so we can say j a n plus b n that is equals to 2 times of j f n so if you divide this 2 j then f n will be then f n will be see this half and this j will get cancelled so a n plus 
1 by j that is minus j bn so fn is equals to half an minus j bn and if you want f minus n then we can subtract this two equation so if i do that over here j an is equals to j fn plus j f minus n and bn is equals to j fn minus j f minus n and if we subtract then this will get add this will get subtract so if you do this then this will be j a n minus b n that is equals to 2 j f minus n and if you divide this 2 j with this then you will be getting f minus n so that will be half now see this j will get cancelled so a n and 1 by j that is minus j so this will be plus j b n so you have this two equation which is what showing you com relative comparison of exponential coefficient in terms of trigonometric coefficient and this shows you relation in between trigonometric coefficient with exponential coefficient so this is how we can have relation in between trigonometric and exponential coefficients i hope that you have understood this session these equations are helpful to you to have a solution of examples in future you will be getting many more problems and in next session i will be explaining polar form of representation of fourier series so just see that polar form of representation of fourier series so there are basically three ways by which we can show Fourier series one is trigonometric second is exponential and third is polar form of Fourier series so this three form of Fourier series will explains you how to represent Fourier series and that is what we will be using it to solve examples but example solving is not directly based on these formulas where we need to understand some properties and to solve examples in easier way I'll be showing some tricks in differentiation so stay tuned with this and i will be uploading all this material on my application so you can directly download it from there and you can learn it online from my videos thank you so much for watching this video